so good afternoon students and now we are going to discuss about sanan's expansion theorem what is the advantage of sanan's expansion theorem this sanan's expansion theorem is going to be convert a logic function can be represented in the form of multiplet okay a logic function can be expanded in the form of multiplexer okay instead of implementing nand and nor gates or and and or gates a logic function can be implemented by using multiplexer so that can be done by using sanand's expansion theorem so the general theorem of theorem states that f is equal to a into f f is the function boolean function okay a dot f plus a bar f so whatever may be the expression that can be represented in the form of like this okay a dot the whole function plus a bar into the whole function for example the boolean function is given f is equal to a bar b plus a b c bar plus a bar b bar c this can be expanded by using the above sanand's theorem so the theorem states that you take first a how many variables are present three variables first we can have the first variable a a into f f is the whole function so you represent the whole function okay then plus a bar into the whole function now we come to the next step you take the a multiply with the first term a a bar b so a a bar you know that it is zero a a bar is zero so as per this the first term becomes zero the second term a a b c bar so a a can be written as a so you will get a then b c bar now the third term a a bar b bar c as per this statement the third product term becomes zero so you will get the first term alone now you come to the second one a bar a bar b a bar a bar b can be written as a bar a bar is a you have a bar b so this can be written as a bar b plus a bar a b c bar a a bar becomes zero the third product term a bar a bar b bar c so you will get a bar b bar c so a bar is taken common b plus b bar c so this can be written by using the distributive law this is the law as per the law we can express like this a bar into b plus c okay that can be written here now this can be implemented by using a max so max the select line is here a bar if a is 1 it will select b c bar is the function 1 if it is 0 it will select the function b plus c that can be taken as a f2 so f1 is here this is here the f2 is here this is the control signal okay this will generate the output f so this is the way we are going to implement a logic function by using sanand's expansion theorem here you take f1 f1 is nothing but b c bar from the previous case okay then f2 is b plus c these functions can be broken down 
further enclosed by using the Tennant expansion theorem. So, F1 is equal to B into the function as BC bar written here plus B bar into BC bar. Now, B, B, C bar is one time. B bar into B, the whole term becomes zero. Now, this multiplexer can be implemented for this function. F1 is equal to, okay, B is the control signal. You take B. What you will get, if B is 1, the input is C bar. If B bar is 0, the input is 0. So, from the expression, the multiplexer is implemented. You take the second one. Okay, F2 equal to B into B plus C. First, B, the function is B plus C plus B bar B plus C. Now, you multiply inside. B, B, nothing but B. B into C to power B, C. Okay, similarly, plus B bar B becomes 0 into B bar C. So, what it will happen means this is nothing but if you have the implementation is nothing but okay, B plus B, C here this one. So, this can be implemented here. The control is B. If B is 1, the 1 will be selected. If B is 0, the C will be selected. So, the F2 can be implemented using the MUX like this. Then wherever the F1 and F2 in the previous slide can be replaced by this MUX1. So this is the overall logic function can be implemented by using the multiplexer. So this can be derived from the Tenant expansion theorem. So this is also you can do by the canonical form. So, the canonical form means here the C variable is not present. You represent C plus C bar. Then you will get A F1 plus K bar F2 is written. In the next slide, by implementation of AND gate, R gate and exclusive R gate, how these gates are implemented by using MUX using the finance expansion theorem. You take the AND gate. AND gate can be implemented by using 2 to 1 multiplexer by applying the Tenant expansion theorem. F is equal to KB. So, A into KB plus K bar into KB. A, KB. This is A bar becomes 0. So, the A is the control line. B is 1 input, 0 output. This is the implementation of and gate by using 2 to 1 marks applying the Sennheiser expansion theorem. Similarly, the R gate and the exclusive R gate. So, this is the way we are going to implement the multiplexer, 2 to 1 multiplexer for any gate applying the Sennheiser expansion theorem. So, this is used for actor at FPGAs. Thank you.